pretty simple. To beat colon cancer, you've got to catch it early. That's the message from an important series of celebrity public service announcements. Has anyone ever said you are the picture of health? You look healthy and you feel fine. But that may not be the full picture. Colorectal cancer is the number two cancer killer. It's impossible to replace anybody that you love. She was my, my great role model, my Grammy Keaton. It was pretty much of a shock for us when she got colon cancer. Screening finds precancerous polyps so they can be removed before they turn into cancer. I got screened. Now it's your turn. So you can stick around and enjoy the show. CBS Evening News anchor and managing editor Katie Couric knows how important early detection is. She's played a major role in raising public awareness. She's here as we launch a special CBS News series conquering colon cancer. Katie, good morning. Hi, Harry. Good to see you. We have so much to talk about, but I first want to do this because there are a couple of people in the country who may not know and may not remember how intimately this touched your life and how it was that you started your your campaign. My husband, Jay Monahan, died in 1998 at the age of 42 mm -hmm. of colon cancer. It was a pretty brief and devastating nine-month battle. And uh, certainly that was shattering to my family, mm -hmm. as you can imagine. You know, we had two small children. Carrie had just turned two and Ellie was six. And uh, mm -hmm. it really came out of the blue. And I think I felt so powerless, Harry, and so helpless uh, in terms of being able to do anything that I became very active in colon cancer awareness efforts after that because I knew there was something I could do and I knew there was information so much I had learned during the process mm. that I wanted to share with others. Right. One of the things that you did was, I guess it was years 2000, Right. you went on television and said, this is what happens, this is what if, if you were thinking I'm afraid to get a colonoscopy or for whatever reason and you did this how did that come to be? How did you say, you know what, let's just do this? Well, I just knew that so many people were in the dark when it came to colonoscopies. They had never heard of a colonoscopy. They didn't really know what it entailed. And I thought if I could remove some of the stigma mm. and show people the procedure is really quite easy. Mm. And it's, it's a lot easier than a diagnosis of colon cancer. <laughs> and I wanted to explain to women, they're diagnosed as often as men. Mm -hmm. Hispanics, as we saw, Jimmy Smiths, mm -hmm. are often diagnosed uh, in ad the advanced stages, African Americans have a higher mortality rate. There is so much misinformation and really, quite frankly, right. ignorance right. out there that I thought I could really shed some light. The stigma thing is still there because even as I had a colonoscopy a couple of years ago, people, friends of mine were like, whoa, whoa. There's just, there, I, don't, I don't understand what the stigma is. Well, I always say I don't want anyone to die of embarrassment. Mm. And, you know, basically get over it. Yeah. And if you think about the fact that 130,000 people are diagnosed every single year in this country, it is the second leading cancer killer. 56,000 people die every single year. Mm. Uh, and it's not just an old man's disease. I can't emphasize that enough because many women think, oh, that's a disease that will only affect older men. Right. But everyone, almost everyone, has a colon and everyone is vulnerable. The thing is also early detection, like so many other cancers, and especially Especially with, with colon cancer cancer because it's almost like a colon is its own container and mm. if you can remove the polyp uh, or a, a, even before it's cancerous then you literally nip the disease in the bud and that's why getting a screening colonoscopy when you feel well and you're completely asymptomatic mm. is so critical it's a great feeling yeah it really is a great feeling the other thing about what, it the is colonoscopy no the <laughs> There's not, you know what? I went in for mine and oh I was my, determined maybe to watch. You enjoyed it a little too much. <laughs> yes. I was determined to watch. And, it, and, and I said, oh, let me, where's the monitor? I want to see it. And the guy says, I'm done already. I yep. mean, there's just. I this, know. No, yeah. it's really quite simple. The yeah. procedure is a bit of a pain. But again, if you well, experience, you have to drink this you, juice and you have to clean well, yourself. Well, yeah, I, I always say, else. think of it as a colonic. You know, yeah. it's a cleansing thing. <laughs> right, right, right. Here's here's the truth, though. Since you went on television and did this, and because of your campaign, the, within the colon cancer community, there's a, a thing called the Couric effect, which is what's well, a twenty percent increase in screenings, and colon cancer deaths are down dramatically as well. And if I contributed to mm. that in any way, or the National Colorectal Cancer Research Alliance did, right. I am so grateful. But the other problem is out there is that people will say okay, this sounds like a great idea, let me go do this. There are places in the country where the insurance does not pay That's or doesn't right. pay, but pays a portion. There are, is there 19 states currently mandate that insurance co 
co uh, insurance companies cover screening colonoscopies. Mm -hmm. Two others say they have to cover some kind of screening. Again, right. colonoscopy is the gold standard. Right. So, you know, many states are following suit, and hopefully this will happen. The CDC has free clinics. Other institutions have free clinics. Medicare covers it. And, you know, sometimes yeah. you have to say, you have to bite the bullet and say, you know, I really want to get this done because yeah. I need to re you know, I need to find out that I don't have colon cancer. Peace of mind. The Absolutely. Peace of mind is amazing. And you got one and it wasn't bad. In fact, you enjoyed it. Well, in a manner of speaking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, it is well, so critical. And we'll look for your stories on the evening news. That's right. Katie, thank We're you very much. Our special series on colon cancer continues tonight on the CBS Evening News with Katie Kirk. We'll meet a woman who wants to avoid her mother's fate. Then tomorrow on The Early Show, we'll have a quiz to test what you need to know about colon cancer. And you can get much more information on our CBS website. That's cbsnews.com. I forgot how to take a cue. Sorry. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Sorry. This is live TV, I'm okay? Sorry.